this is May and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you what to do after modeling your hair in Maya or Blender. I'll be using Maya 2022 and I'm filming this live so I'm very sorry for grammatical errors and stutters. Now I'm also sorry if this video took too long, it's because I got really sick this past few days. It took more days than I expected, that's why yes i can't even use my voice anyways now i am kind of recovered i kind of recovered let's now proceed with this tutorial okay okay now without further ado let's get star meow <laughs> okay so we have here our sample hair this sample hair is just the one in the headwear guide i just elongated this part and make it look like a bob cut now this looks like Nano's hair, if you know her. <laughs> Anyways, so since it's just a sample hair, we don't need to add more details and stuff since um, modeling is already done. So the next thing you'll do after modeling your hair is of course rigging. Now some of you meows have difficulty in uh, making the hair move, so I'm going to teach you. For this kind of hair, you just need to make this part move, this part, and the back part. And the, the tutorial is actually posted in the Zepeto Studio, so I'm just going to um, somehow hmm, explain this in the simplest way I could. So I clicked F3 to show the rigging. You can always access it here, but I like using shortcut keys. So I click F3. And then click on skeleton and then create joint now just click here and to show the joints better uh, this click this one this magic one thingy looking thing <laughs> now it will show the main bone now we need to create joints like that no 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 like that and then I personally like to move it first. Wait, that's too big. Let's delete it. Let's create another one. I need a small one. Okay. That one. And then let's click W. And then make sure it's inside in, it's inside the hair. Be sure to move at every angle so you know if it's really at the right spot. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Since this is just a bob cut, it's better. Now, let's just control D. And then, let's move the duplicated joint here. No no need to adjust it like that. I mean, up, down, left, right. No need. Just move it right here. Okay. Now, we're gonna duplicate this and move it here again. At the back of the middle part, Zepeto said four joints, right? four, four joints, something like that. That's why I usually stop at four. So, okay. That, that's, that's looking good. I don't know if it's the middle though. Okay, anyways, after that, all you need to do is rename these three joints. Now... For this one, this part, we will name it hair A because it's the first hair underscore zero zero underscore um the what do you call that the side but the sides in Maya are inverted so this side will be left no 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 this side will be right no, trust me on this one. <laughs> I, I also got confused, but this is how it, it works, okay? Anyways, then underscore, and then V6, and then your values. Now, uh, it is explained, uh, the values are explained in the studio, so if you would want to learn more about it, just visit the studio, but for me, I personally love using these values. I discovered this back then when I was just, you know, when Zepeto 
just released the hair feature and I really want to make it move. I discovered this one. Anyways, 3, 30, and 20. Now, to the next joint, we'll just copy this, paste this, and then change this to left. Trust me on this one. This really works, okay? <laughs> now, for, for this one, this is the back hair, so we'll name it um, back hair underscore zero zero underscore c now i don't even know why it is c but trust me on this one <laughs> and then the physics and then the same values 30 then 20. now after renaming all of this i, I actually forgot if it's really zero zero Let's just do it. Anyways, after that, we're gonna click hair A, R, to back hair, and then open this. Be sure to know that, I mean, be sure to insert it on the hair all. If it's not on the hair all, it will not work. So, we just need to drag it right here. And as you can see, it's with the J-bone, and it's, it's connected. Anyways, after that, you just click this and then click the sample hair i mean your hair your modeled hair and then click skin and then bind skin after that it's finished that's just that's easy that's how easy it is now let me just export it to desktop mm, sample Okay, so after uh, exporting it from Maya, we just need to open our Unity. I am using Unity 2018 because this has less issues than others. I mean, than other uh, version of Unity. And all we need to do is import the sample file to me. And then uh, click this and then import a material for the hair click apply and then just right click this one convert to zepeto style and then right click this one and export as that zepeto now after that all we need to do is upload it in the studio just click this create item and then go to here and then let's just drop drop the file now i just do this like that and usually the loading um the loading process takes more than a minute sometimes it takes seconds sometimes it takes five minutes or so it actually depends on the studio and your internet connection so it varies from time to time so we're just go i mean i'm just going to go back to you mouse after this loading okay now that it's loaded i'm quite sleepy <laughs> okay it's already loaded so as you can see it's quite lagging anyways uh if we move it like that it's slightly it's actually moving and as you can see there's a bald spot here well this is just a sample file so it does not matter but be sure to or remove that one the petal will reject uh, any hair that looks like that uh, is not covering the head so yes it's moving and because it's a short hair it moves quite um, limited anyways if you created a long hair with that settings it will be fluffy fluff fluff anyways that's just it for this part 2 tutorial and that covers everything you need to do in order to create your very own hair in Zepeto. Now, I hope you learned something and if you would want me to teach you more, uh, just comment down below and I'll uh, try to do a tutorial about it. So, yes, as always, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye!